I love a whiteboard, get you a big old whiteboard somewhere in your office, somewhere at home, that as you have these ideas, you can jot them down. <laughs> If you're thinking about starting a pressure washing business, but you want to learn more about the equipment, mixing chemicals, how to clean every surface on a residential job site, property protection, and much, much more, check out the How to Wash course. It'll be the first link in the comment section and the description. What's up, guys? Cody from Southeast Self Wash. Monday morning, baby. Headed up to uh, the shop. Doing some work today. Knock out some uh, projects we got working on. Wanted to give you guys my thoughts on a topic. Um, <laughs> and... It's both good, it is a good quality of entrepreneurs, and it is a bad quality of entrepreneurs. So you have to be able to balance kind of both sides of this thing and, and keep yourself even keeled because, and what I'm talking about, guys, is your creativity. A lot of us entrepreneurs, we're creative, right? We're problem solvers. We see the, we see the landscape for what it is. Hopefully, if you're good at it, you see what, what's really going on on the battlefield of the marketplace and you're trying to identify problems and solve them. But here's what I've noticed. We'll have guys come to the training and they're there to take the training to learn how to how to soft wash, pressure wash, clean roofs, you know, make a bunch of money in this world that we deal in. And before they even learn this, they're already coming up with these other 16 ideas over here. What about this? What about this? What about that? And that's a good thing. It's a good thing that their brain is wired that way, but it's a bad thing if they don't learn to wrangle that that spirit and that creativity and hone it into a direct path because we've heard the phrase right you got too many irons in the fire and i think that is true a lot of times we have so many irons in the fire but none of them are turning into swords it's just uh it's just a bunch of raw rebar laid up in the pit none of it's becoming anything practical so i would encourage you to be creative but here's where you need a whiteboard, right? I love a whiteboard. Get you a big old whiteboard somewhere in your office, somewhere at home, that as you have these ideas, you can jot them down on your whiteboard and you can revisit them later when you've got time. I don't wanna add anything else to my plate until I've killed one of them off my plate. And uh, sometimes you'll find that the ideas that you're most passionate about are probably some of the lesser or could be some of the least productive or least uh, money-making ideas, right? Here's one of them that's not. And one reason that I like to promote it, uh, Christmas lights. And there's gonna be a link down below to the Christmas lights boot camp. That is this week with Glenn Jernigan. Glenn started Christmas lights last year. Uh, I think he's gonna do over 150,000 this year. So he's teaching some of the techniques. It's not rocket surgery, but there are a few little things you wanna know how to do and just streamline the process so you're not spending two years figuring it out join the boot camp it's virtual online you can you know sit there and watch it from home but it's five days i believe it starts tonight so hop on over there be a link down below anyway i like the christmas lights one because your pressure washing is shut down and you just segue right into christmas lights so it's not like you've got two irons in the fire at the same time and i'm not saying that you can't multitask i'm just saying there's gonna there's gonna be a time when it's right to pick up another project and there's gonna be a lot of times where you just need to stay focused on what you're doing. Keep doing what you're winning at. Uh, so balance it, right? It's just a balancing act. I have ideas all the time. We roll out products. Guys, we have so many products. We don't just resell other companies' products. Everybody does that. We try to invent products, and that takes a lot of brain power and mental energy, and we're sitting here looking at 20 more things we could do, but you gotta be careful because the idea fairy will come along and pile your plate up with so many things. You may eventually get them all done, but it takes seven years to get them all done We're at, and, and they don't cash flow anything. Let's do one at a time. Pick from the list which one makes the most sense to do next and knock that bad boy out, then grab the next one. Hope you guys have a successful week. Idea fairy, man, you gotta watch out for them. That put a lot on that plate, dog. You'd be tired old brain be hurting but you also don't want to be just sitting around not being creative either so keep it balanced have a great week we'll see you